everybody, Vape and Vinny here again, and I'm back once again, folks, with a hardware review for you. Um, I'm a bit late to the show on this one. Um, had a few meetings with we'll Geek Vape and a few discussions. Um, now I'm going to do a few reviews for them. And the first one up is the Geek Vape Aegis X kit. You get the mod and the Cerebus tank. I'll talk about both of them. Um, thank you very much Geekvate for sending me this product out It will not affect my review of this product And of course They make some big claims It's just like the legend It's supposed to be IP67 water and dust Resistant With high shock resistance um, I'll discuss all that After we've been down on the deck And I've showed you the ins and out goes on Of the mod and the tank And the coils that come with the tank We'll come back up top. I will give you my pros and cons. Final thoughts on the Geek Vape Aegis kit. Let's get it down on that deck. Okay, folks. Here we have the up close for the Geek Vape Aegis X kit. First of all, the box. On the front, you get the picture of the mod and the tank. Uh, powered by the AOS chip 2.0. It comes with a 2.4 OLED display screen. On that side, some of Geekvake's social media. Check them out. When it wants to focus, there we go. And on the back, we get the hologram, the scratch and sniff code. And what's in the kit? Come up. When it wants to focus again, lovely camera, Aegis X kit, there you go. IP67 water and dust resistant, high shock resistance, upgraded AS chip, fast and accurate. Which we'll come back to, 2.4, come on. 2.4 OLED screen for vivid display. Power from 5 watts to 200 watts. Package consists of one Aegis X Mark, one Cerebus tank, pre installed SuperMesh X1 coil, bubble glass, spare glass. Obviously, these come in TPD compliant versions and everything else you see there. Let's get this box open, folks. Quite a bit of packaging. Well, cardboard. You take the sleeve off, lovely black. Geek Vape one, it came sealed obviously, but this is well used and well tested, which I will come to. Open that up, and you get the mod. Um, I've already put my batteries in, nice firm closure, 18650s. Like I say, I've really, really tested and abused this. There is some scratch marks on... And it won't come on now. I went there, five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And the screen comes on. There we go. Um, it does come with a screen protector. My screen protector has long gone. Long gone. Uh, that's the mod. Um, also in the box, you get the Cerebus tank. When I can get it out, obviously your user manual. You get a little box with... Spare glass and the spare coil. I'll keep that out. Um, let me try to get this tank out. There we go. Quick chat about the tank. It's a sub arm stock coil tank, the Cerebus. Um, quite a unique filling top. It just it's like a, a quick release. It's not a large screw fitting. Which is quite clever. Nice seals. Had no leaks from this tank whatsoever. And it just quick releases on and off. It doesn't screw. It's just like a quick release. Um, coil wise I will talk about when we come back up top. Because that coil is still the only coil I've used that's in there. Um, I do have the other one here still. Not used. I'll come back to that. Up top. Uh, I said that's the Cerebus tank, very nice tank that comes with it. I shall talk more about that when we come up top. Um, quick tour around the mod, it's a bit fiddly. 
It's a nice, big, lovely, clear screen, which unfortunately is not a touchscreen screen, so you have to rely on the various buttons to access things. Now, the power button, as you'd imagine, is a five click on and off, but for three clicks, you go one, two, three, and then you can scroll through various settings. Uh, there's bypass modes and various other things. Uh, temp mode, bypass mode is particularly good. Stainless steel mode, uh, NIAT, Tichrome, etc., etc., and your normal power mode. Now, like I was saying, I have used one coil on this tank, and I'll just quickly show you the puff count if my lovely camera will play ball. There we are, currently on 4,190 puffs. That is still on that original coil. Come back to that when we come back up top. Um, quick look around. Obviously, you've got your balance charging port just there with a sealed cover over it. It does balance charge and it works quite well. I have tested that thoroughly. And yeah, the mod has been really used and, to be honest, quite abused because... That's what the Aegis range and the Legend and the X for me is all about. It's a stuff, a stuff, <laughs> a tough, sturdy, regulated vape mod. Uh, I'll come back to that up up top when we uh, water test it. And there we go, folks. The Geek Vape Aegis X. Close up with the Cerebus tank, of course. So we'll come back up top and I'm going to dunk it in some water and give you my final thoughts, pros and cons. Okay, folks, we're back up top with the Geek Vape Aegis X kit. Uh, first of all, I'm going to quickly cover the tank. Um, never tried a Geek Vape stock coil tank before. I'll admit that now. And the Cerebus that comes with this kit has really, really surprised me. Um, 4,192 puffs so far on the one coil. Um, it still tastes great. The flavour's still great. Um, great crowd production. I'm running it on 85 watts, which is the high end of where they say to use it. Let's have a quick vape. Really is a good solid stock coil tank. Really, really decent, great flavour, great cloud production, hasn't leaked at all. Really impressed with the Cerebus tank. The mod. Now, I've treated this just like I did the smock, the new smock mag tank. Um, it's been loaned out to my friend who works in a wood chip factory. Wood chip. I'll just clear that up. I nearly said something else. Wood chip factory. Where they make wood shavings for gardens and things. So it's a really dusty place. The mod itself has sat on the side there. It got absolutely covered in shavings and dust and everything as you can imagine. Took a licking, keeps on ticking. It's been dropped, it's been thrown. The screen protector is not the greatest. It came off quite quickly and lost its sticky. So my screen has got a few little scratches. Heads up on the screen protector. Now obviously with the water resistant rating of the IP67 water and dust. Dust I've covered. Now folks. The scary part. Bowl full of water. Let's bring the camera down. I don't like doing this part. I was very nervous when I did this with a Mac. But here we go. The Geek Vape Aegis X. Please work afterwards because I like this mod. In it goes. <coughs> now I did see one of these at the UK Vape Expo recently that was sat in water all the way through the expo. And still seemingly works because my friend has the mod. Now I am seeing air bubbles which do worry me. Air bubbles in water means water's getting in. But there we go. We are in. We've been in for nearly 10 seconds. I'll leave it for a wee bit longer. I've got handy kitchen roll ready. The screen is still working. It just said no atomizer. 
There we go. I think that will do. Pop that on some kitchen roll. Remove that away from the electrical equipment. And let's dry the mod down. Actually giving it a nice clean. <laughs> it still looks like it's working. Ah, there we go. Let's bring the camera back up. Slowly. Seem to have moved position. There we go. Keep eight pages X. Has survived its dunking. Right. Let's talk pros and cons. Pros. It's solid. It takes a beating. We've just seen it's waterproof, dustproof. Shot proof, like I say, it's been dropped, so it's been thrown. I'm not the uh, safest person to handle mods sometimes, and my children have a habit of knocking them off places. Um, the screen is great. It's really visible, and you can really see it. But I'd have liked it if it had been a touch screen, like the Mac, because the buttons and the accessibility to some other functions that the mod does and setting different things and everything you have to fiddle about quite a bit with some of the buttons to get through the settings that you actually want i suppose that's a small price to pay but it would just been nice if it had been a touch screen screen and you could have just gone through them like you did on the mag yeah size wise and weight wise it's virtually identical to the geekvay pages legend so if you have the legend and are thinking of upgrading or is a bit old now, Aegis X will stand you in good stead. It's virtually identical in size and weight, but you get the big screen. And obviously you get a cracking tank with it. Um, all the cons, um, the screen protector you get with it didn't stay on very long. Didn't stay on very long at all. So the actual screen itself isn't that tough. You can see scratches and things that have come on it. There they are. Uh, maybe it's my fault for being a bit manhandling the screen, the, the mod. I don't know. Um, it's really, really decent mod. I'd go out and I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for something to run alongside the Smot Mag. It's a slightly smaller mod than the mag and slightly lighter than the mag so that's a pro in this category of robust regulated mods uh, what i do like about this is in the bypass mode with an rda on you can go really low the smart mag didn't let me go low this thing lets me go low and it delivers and really punches in bypass mode with an rda dripper on top Overall, would I go out and buy one of these if I lost this? Yes, I would. I definitely would replace this and have this in circulation on my regulated mods. I generally have a regulated mod with me every day now alongside a pod and a mech. Yeah, I carry three devices. I don't care. I vape a lot. And there we go, folks. The A Geek Vape Aegis X kit. Cracking bit of kit. Superb tank. Waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. Exactly what it says on the box. You fancy one? Go get one. You won't be disappointed. And there we go, folks. Please drop a like and subscribe. If you've not done so already. I'll be back soon with more hardware. And I've got some juice reviews coming up as well. Um, and obviously, keep your eye out for the League of Extraordinary Vapors. Our chat show, discussion show on Sunday nights. And yeah. Thank you all for the support. Love and respect to you all. I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye for now, folks.